May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to Chalike Crush Walk Pro Trans Feminist. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, I'm a liberal. I'm Democrat voting. I'm uh, very uh, strong in my beliefs about uh, a certain st set. I have a very strong belief in a certain set of principles. Um, I probably disagree with a lot of your principles. I disagree with conservatism and uh, usually right-wing conservative beliefs. Okay. The reason I'm here tonight is my son is very right-wing conservative. You have a very smart son. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he doesn't drink. Oh, <laughs> He's only 20, watch it. Um, and the reason that I'm here is because I raised him to believe and think for himself, to look at both sides and come up with his own opinion. And he kind of didn't come up with Bernie, okay, I can live with that, but I absolutely stand behind his right to think what Good. He is Good free to think, and I don't need to break windows. That's not a model for what I believe in liberalism. There's a lot of liberals who are very upset about that. Good. So my question to you is, in my sense of accepting and loving my son, it's different, he's my family, I also believe, for, for example, one example is LGBTQ adults, not trans kids, I'm going to get that argument, but LGBTQ adults who are happily in relationships and married, who are behind what they believe in, and it doesn't necessarily coincide with the Bible. It doesn't coincide with two genders. I believe that people have the freedom to express themselves and they don't want to be in two genders. They have a different point of view okay. because they looked at both sides. What, they came what? up and they have the freedom to believe what they want. So, so what's how the do you, yeah. your, my question to you is how in your belief of two genders do you accept people who don't believe that? Well, yeah, I just asked the question. I would ask it of you. What is a woman? Um, for me personally, I am a woman. And I believe no, but that... but what is that? Don't, don't answer the question with the question, like, what is the vocab term, woman, define it. Um, that I align myself as a mother and uh, what the women in my life and the uh, feminine values of being uh, uh, more relationship oriented, less competitive, mothering, caring about someone ahead of myself. So those are values that I, feminist values that I believe in. And I believe I can be a woman. I don't have, uh, I wasn't born with a male body but I believe that I am a woman based on feminine principles. Those, like, so those, under, and, and those and other Under your principles. view, somebody can choose to be what they want to be. Yes. Okay, can I be a bobcat? Um, well, and more than that argument, I want to get more into no, no, this is important. your let me, belief. Let me ask you another question. Can oh, okay. I be whatever age I want to be? Um, the, the response to that really is not exactly what my question's about. Well, you're asking about my view on the LGBT, and I'm getting there. I'm just trying to understand. Or, and as an example, people who don't believe that there are two genders, just in general, no, I know. who are disagreeing with you. And you are one of those people, so I'm trying to get to some form of understanding and clarity. Okay. So do you think that having agreed upon objective reality on age is important? 
Yeah, but that's not within the concept of gender. Well, but why, why is that different? Why, is, why does reality stop when gender gets discussed? Because I'm not thinking about people of different ages. Why not? So if a 30-year-old thinks he's 14, he should be able to have, be able to have sex with a 12-year-old, right? Um, no, this is more about gender. Well, now, no, no, I hold feel, on. Well, but I have a limit but gender to... Is, gender is... A, what, why, where does that limit come from, and why do you believe in the limit for age, but nice. not for biology? Um, because I feel that gender is an, is an aspect of somebody they can believe in being able to be in one, more than one gender. I don't believe that age falls into that. I believe this is more about a gender that people are right, able to don't choose. You, don't, you're saying, though, that gender is yes. a personal feeling or belief that somebody has about their existence. Uh, Regardless, yes, w within gender, there's some it, things so, that the they moral, don't like the, being the, an animal or the, being 90. Right, but the moral premise of that is that your biology, your chromosomes, do not dictate your reality, correct? I don't know. Do I have to know the answer to that in order to honor the fact that somebody else believes that they are let, choosing let, let to be a woman? Let me tell you why and what I believe. Do, you, do I have to agree with that? Well, not a matter of agreeing. In order to be able to identify gender. You can gender. have whatever opinion you want but the truth is what I'm trying to articulate. It doesn't matter what you believe. Somebody is born a man, they don't stop being a man if they appropriate womanhood. If I wore blackface right now, I don't become black. If a man decides to all of a sudden dress in a dress, he doesn't become a woman, nor should I for you force other people to reaccommodate society. If they want to think that in their private time or in their own mind, it's kind of weird and strange, I guess, go ahead and do it. But that's not the debate we're having in America right now. The debate we're having, and I'd love your final thoughts on this, is a biological man is able to compete against biological women in NCAA sports and win the national championship in swimming. Do you yeah. think that's fair? I, I don't think that. That's not part of my personal beliefs. Um, okay, so let's maybe just go for gay and lesbian couples who are successful. I mean, just because I really want to know the answer, and I kind of know where that's headed, and I don't agree about men playing in women's sports or... Hey, we agree on that. So Yeah, so you I and agree I, with that. You understand that the liberals that you identify with call you a bigot for that belief, right? Not the liberals that are my friends, and not all liberals believe that. Yeah, that's shocking. I'd love to meet them. So, um... Secondly, though, yeah. on the other part, as they're, far as... They're all in but, their 60s, but let me, but, <laughs> that my friends. <laughs> on the LGBT thing, and I want to get to as many questions as possible. Yeah. What does somebody's own personal sexual orientation have to do with lumping in a bunch of letters with somebody that is suffering from gender dysphoria? Those are two separate issues. Don't you think we should yeah. divide them? No, I think that, that there are people who have healthy... Uh, homosexual relationships who identify that way who aren't in favor of no, no, some no. of the you, gender You misunderstood problems. the question. What I'm trying to say is that for a while it was gay activism and now it's LGBTQIA+. It just keeps on growing and this right. kind of social contagion of, um, of left-wing activism. Let me, just, uh, let me just tell you my position very okay. clearly. Okay? Everybody's made in the image of God. That's my first, that's my moral, my first premise. We all have a soul. You could disagree with that. The American founders believed every single human being had a soul, and that is a fact. That's I true. believe that marriage is an institution and a tradition that should be between one man and one woman. Marriage, the, in an ideal world, the state would have a limited role in that, but I don't believe that diluting or destroying the institution of marriage or the vocabulary or the truth behind it does it any justice for anybody. And you must understand what a word means and what is the purpose of that word. And having been married, I can understand that marriage is about opposites getting along to do something bigger than themselves. The big issue in the gay marriage debate, and some conservatives disagree, is that you don't have two opposites. You have two alikes that are coming, two people that are alike coming yeah. together. Yeah. That's not what marriage is. You could call it something else, that's not marriage. In fact, I think it actually destroys and diminishes the beautiful institution of Wow, I, I wanted Charlie to continue because I, I was enjoying how he was, you know, explaining the term marriage, you know, because I think people need to explain this more often because the word is missing out. They are missing, you know, what the ideal meaning of marriage is, what's the purpose of marriage is. You know, the main purpose of marriage is getting someone that 
you know, you can share your lifetime with. And aside from that, you're getting someone that you can procreate with. So what's the point getting married to the same gender when you know you can't procreate? You want to adopt a child that someone has created or two, two, opposite, um, two opposite sex have created. So if you feel like you, what you're doing is right, why don't you procreate with the person you are dating? So I, I feel this bad because, you know, if you feel you can adopt a child, you are changing that, you are making the child feel like what you are doing is right. Now you are going to teach the child how to be you. Because, you know, children grow based on what they see. You know, majority of us are Christian today because we were born in a Christian um, environment or Christian family. And so many people are Muslim because they were born in a Muslim, you know, family. And it, it plays a vital role. So if, if two gay or two lesbian decide to adopt a child, that child try to emulate their character, try to copy from them, feel like what their parents or what, what their adopted parents um, is doing is the right way to go about it. And to me, you are teaching the child something that is not normal or something that the world claim it's normal, but it's not supposed to be so. He said, the God that made us made us both male and female. So even if you don't believe in the Bible, it makes common sense. He said, opposite attract. When two things that are not alike joined come together, they create another being. But when, when, when you put positive and positive, there won't be an action. But when you put, when you put positive and negative, some, there will surely be a spark because something will surely form from there. That is how the world works, you know. And I don't know, I don't know. The, the idea that people just believe that um, because you think you are a guy or because you, you have feelings for your fellow guy, it shows that you have to marry the guy, you have to you know, spend the rest of your life with the same person or with the same sex. I feel... It's, it's abnormal, anyway. And I think that is where African is really getting it right because that ideology have not sink into Africa. Like, people are kicking against it so, so much. And even if we are getting backlash from the white, we are getting sanctions from them. But, but we don't care because this is our belief. No pastor in, 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 in Nigeria or in Ghana or in West Africa or in South Africa or in any part of Africa would love the idea that, uh, would love to wait you know, the same sex, because to them, that is against what they stand for, that is against what they preach. Maybe, um, I don't know, in the nearest future, but um, I don't know if it has happened, but to me, to my best understanding, I've not seen anyone happen. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a videographer, and I've been shooting wedding for like four years now, and I've not encountered any, I've not encountered any same-sex marriage. And it's never going to happen because in our constitution, it's against it. I think it's seven years, not even getting married, if you are caught in the act. You see, you face seven years imprisonment. And I feel like that is a way to take this out of you know our continent because to me I feel it's 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 not done anyway. Okay, let's say you can take a good look at animals. Have you ever seen any same sex animal? Or you see a, a male animal having sex with another male animal? No. You see, we claim we are the higher uh, musical, we, we have more knowledge than them, but they don't behave like us. I've not seen any animal behaving the way we behave or feel like, yes, I have feelings for this other animal or like, it's, it's not possible. So let's, let's try our best. And I know a whole lot of us have supported this notion simply because we don't, we know one or two people that are practicing it and we don't want to hurt their ego. But the thing is, and, and the Bible is said, spread the rod and spoil the child. When you keep on pampering someone, they feel what they're doing is good. That is why if our children do something at a very tender age, we scold them. We point what they are doing that this is bad, don't do this. So why then do you encourage people to practice this? Because I, I, I don't see the point. You know, if you are doing it for the fun of it, it's different. If you are doing it for as a life, deci life, life decision, it's bad. Because what you have in you is there to produce, but it's not there to produce with the same sex. It's there to produce when it, it gets in contact with the opposite sex. So let's just... <laughs> anyway, and I think Charlie made mention of, you know, sports. You know, this by men trying to go into sports and win the title that women have been winning for long. You know, women have, they, it started from feminists. They were pushing for their voice to be heard. And now the world is listening to them. We are hearing them. So don't deprive them of this competition. They have gotten the opportunity to participate in. Don't, don't deprive them. You are, you, are, you are a man. The fact that you choose to identify as a woman did not give you the right to participate in their sports. Because surely you are built as a man, so you will surely win. So the thing is, if you if you if you, if you are built or if you want to identify as whatever, just let them have their own special spot for them. Because I think that is when it will be fair.
because I've seen women putting their all. You know, I, there's this lady that my lady friend that normally she she's into taekwondo. You see, I don't expect her to go on stage and fight with a man simply because the man identifies as a woman. It's it's sincerely like not fair. Anyway, this is a brief one. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If it's your first time visiting the channel, click on the like button. Thanks for watching and remember this.